In this video, I will show you how to increase FPS in Fortnite. Your game might be getting a little laggy and I'll show you how to fix that. There will be a few steps, so make sure to follow along. For the first step, make sure you close apps running in the background. They might be taking away from the resources that are supposed to go to running Fortnite resulting in lower FPS. To do that, you can simply go over to the apps in the taskbar and right click and close them, or go over to the bottom left, press the search button right here and write task manager. Then open up the application, and then you can find all of the resource heavy applications, then right click them and press end task. Now you can move on to the next step. For the next step, try setting the video settings of Fortnite to low. Your computer may not be able to handle higher quality settings. To do that, go over to the three lines in the top left, press them, then press this icon right here, then press the settings button. Now after you get right here, make sure that you are in the first option at the top, call to display, then scroll down. First off, you can change your resolution to a lower one, this will also help. And now scroll down and make sure you have set quality presets to low and everything else to either off or low. Then move on to the next step. For the next step, make sure that you have the latest version of Windows installed. If you haven't updated in a while, this could be causing an issue. Because with every update, there is new optimizations coming that make everything run smoother. To do that, navigate to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write check for updates. Then open up the application at the top and once you get in here at the top it will appear if you need to do an update, then do it and move on to the next step. For the next step you can try editing the Fortnite installation options. There are some things in there that are unnecessary for the game to be running, which put a drain on your performance. To do that, go over to your Epic Games Launcher, then go over to Library, and once you get here, locate Fortnite, press the three dots and press Options. First off, you will need to disable the High Resolution Textures option. This will put a drain on your graphics card by making it load high resolution textures, and after you have unchecked that, check Disable Cosmetic Streaming. If that box is unchecked, then every single time you load into a game, your PC will need to download the textures of each and every skin every single game, no matter if you've seen that skin before. If you have the option checked, then every skin and cosmetic will already be pre-downloaded. Then press the apply button and you can move on to the next step. For the last step, make sure you add Fortnite to your Windows graphics settings and set it to high performance. This way your graphics card can focus on funneling the most resources into Fortnite, making it run smoother. To do that, go to the bottom left and press the search button and in here write graphics settings. Then open up the application at the top and once you get in here, make sure to select desktop app right here, then you will need to press the browse button. Now we will need to locate the installation folder of Fortnite. To do that, go over to the Epic Games Launcher then to library and find Fortnite, then press the three dots, and then press manage. Then under installation, you will need to press this icon right here, and it will take you to the Fortnite installation folder. You just take this address, right click and copy it, then go over to the browse and just right click and paste it. Now press the enter button, and when you get in here, press Fortnite game, then to binaries, then Windows 64 and right here select the Fortnite launcher and press add and after that happens just press options and make sure you press high performance and press the save button. Now after you have done all of this you can try and jump into a Fortnite game and see if the FPS got better. That is it for this video, thank you for watching, see you in the next one.